while during the cycle of aggregation, the donor, the egg donor, actually undergoes the stimulation of the ovaries. We do need to prepare the endometrium of the patient, the egg recipient, so that it would be perfectly ready for the embryo implantation for its nesting. Basically, we just need the same two hormones to achieve that, that the woman has in every natural menstrual cycle, and that is estrogen and progesterone. Usually, no other medications are necessary, so the preparation protocol can be fairly simple. However, we do need these two, not only to control the endometrium and its growth, but also the timing of the future steps, such as the embryo transfer. In the first half of the cycle, during the first two weeks approximately, the patient only takes estrogen, usually it's six milligrams per day, and then at a certain point, we add progesterone, just like in the natural cycle, following the ovulation. While the estrogen helps the endometrium grow and reach a certain height, the progesterone starts the secretory phase of the cycle where the endometrium becomes, endometrium becomes soft and well, where the blood flow is increased. So these are basically the only two medications that we really need. Uh, we need folates or folic acid that for general support and of course based on the consult and the individual situation of the patient then some specific medications that are fit according to her needs such as uh, medications for support of the thyroid gland function which we need to check prior to starting the transfer cycle or low molecular heparin in case of a higher risk of thrombosis.